Losing a job is one of the most challenging times in our life. Dealing with the job loss, stressing about the finances, job search and what not. On top of that, imagine if you have to deal with an unwanted medical emergency. Well, in the times when there's no flow of income, even the thought of a medical expense can be scary enough. But you must not worry as you can still take the benefits of your company's group health insurance policy. Yes, even after getting laid off, you can retain the company's existing health insurance policy under which you were covered. Let's find out how. So, with the help of porting, you can switch your plan to an individual policy and retain the benefits of your company's health insurance policy. To do so, you should first look into the terms and conditions of the policy. Check if the corporate policy includes a provision for continuing coverage after the job loss and whether you are eligible for it or not. You can also reach out to your HR department to make the switch smoother and avoid last minute issues. Now, once you know the terms and conditions, look for the criteria for porting from the company plan to a personal insurance plan. Check what are the benefits of switching, documents required, eligibility requirements and also if the benefits of the corporate group insurance would remain unchanged when ported to an individual policy or not. Do make a note that in order to port your policy, you have to apply 45 days before the last working day of your job. But in case you couldn't start that process, you can still apply for porting as you get additional 5 days after your last working day to inform your insurer. Moreover, you also get the benefits of continuity as the accepting insurer will have to take your waiting period credit of pre-existing diseases into account. Basically, the waiting period requirement is a clause and it is crucial as the coverage of pre-existing diseases depends on it. Pre-existing diseases include conditions like diabetes, hypertension, thyroid, asthma, etc. So if you have a pre-existing disease, you will have to wait for the prescribed waiting period before you can claim any hospitalization or treatment related to the disease. Now let's understand the concept of continuity benefits with an example. So let's suppose that a person X has been working in a company for two years and now he has to leave. While migrating to an individual plan, he finds out that the health cover comes with a waiting period of 4 years. Since he has already spent 2 years with the company, he gets a reduction of 2 years on his waiting period for any pre-existing disease. Lastly, you can also opt for a fresh cover for yourself. But you must know that the terms and conditions will be different from the ones in your group cover. Hence, it is very important to have a thorough understanding of which policy will give you the best coverage and match your budget at the same time. I hope you liked the video, do subscribe to the money control channel for more such videos.